happy Tuesday. Today we have a surprise as Prince Harry has appeared in a video to support one of his long-standing UK charities. So welcome and if you're here for the first time i'm so glad you chose to tune in so prince harry today has called for inspiring children to join the well child family the duke of sussex appeared in a video released on tuesday by well child the uk organization that he has worked so tirelessly to champion so let's watch this clip for the past 15 years that i've been patron i've been immensely grateful for the work that well child does and moved by the stories i hear and the people i meet for children and young people with complex medical needs, Worldchild provides access to high quality care services and the opportunity to thrive at home alongside their families. Worldchild also creates a network of support for families who are facing countless medical, logistical and mental health challenges, compounded by a cost of living crisis that adds tremendous pressure in caring for their children who are dependent on life-saving equipment. And, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the carers and health professionals, doctors, nurses, teachers, play specialists, and many more, who are part of the World Child family as well. They deliver life-changing support each and every day. Despite facing immense challenges, World Child families continue to display a resilience and fortitude that is nothing short of inspiring. And right now, you can play a role in highlighting someone in your life who inspires you. By nominating someone for a World Child Award, you have an opportunity to introduce someone special to the World Child family. Each year, I so look forward to meeting with the award winners and spreading awareness about this incredible charity. I hope this year you'll join me and get involved. Nominate someone today. Please visit www.worldchild.org.uk to find out more. And thank you for your support. So there we have it, a heartwarming message that, of course, is uplifting the annual awards that celebrates these inspiring qualities by some of the UK's seriously ill young people and the dedication of those who go the extra mile to keep the children healthy and happy. And I loved the message. In fact, he does highlight that it's been 15 years that he's been a patron and that he is immensely grateful for the work that Well Child does and he is moved by all the stories and of course it is true anyone who takes the time to look over what well child has done uh, one cannot deny the impact that they have had and it is a fact that the duke of sussex ever since he became a patron of well child in 2007 that he has had a special place in his heart for the organization in an event a while ago where he was speaking, he said this, quote, I wasn't a father at the time, and yet the stories of these children and parents transcended that. I didn't need to be a dad to feel the impact of this invaluable work. And he went on to say, now as a father of two, I feel all the more connected, inspired, and in awe of the resilience of these families who power through indescribable challenges with the support of Well Child. And as you saw in the clip, he capped off his message by saying, quote, Each year, I so look forward to meeting with the award winners and spreading awareness about this incredible charity. I hope this year you'll join me and get involved. Nominate someone today, end quote. And as well in this video, if you look at the pinned comment, I will leave links for you to go. For those of you who can nominate someone to go ahead and do so, uh, there will be those links. So check out for that. It is quite noteworthy to see that this is the first thing that he has come out so strong to highlight, especially right now as you know his book came out a while ago and he has had his whole promo uh, tour going on. Talk shows like Good Morning America and you know talking of course to Tom Bradby and also going on 60 Minutes and the Colbert uh, talk that he had. This is the first time that we get to see him uh, just throwing his full weight of the notoriety that he has behind this project. And I think that speaks a lot to Prince Harry and where his priorities are. And I'm sure that this year will be just outstanding. I'm sure that this year he cannot wait to go and just surprise the children with having that one-on-one -on -one time with them. 
So as we know, Well Child is the national UK children's charity making it possible for children and young people with exceptional health needs to be cared for at home instead of the hospital. That's according to the organization's website. And Prince Harry has been a patron of Well Child since 2007. Of course, uh, as he got married to the Duchess of Sussex, we remember that he in 2019 together with her attended the awards ceremony. And it was such a blast having them together there. It has been good to see them um, interacting with the families over the years, especially, of course, with the long-standing support Wellchild has in Prince Harry's heart. And of course, we know with the pandemic that there were a couple of challenges. The event was not held in 2020 uh, due to the you know lockdowns and all of that. But we have seen it getting more and more back into the full swing, of course, with last year. With the sudden change of plans, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could not attend, but Prince Harry went out of his way to have a heartwarming call with the awardees and their families. Um, they had that adorable exchange with a couple of the children and asked them about the event, asked the families how the event went. And he also had that very sweet talk with his namesake where he talked about the fact that his name is Henry, but he's not sure why people call him Harry. Of course, he was trying to get down on those children's level and speak to them uh, in the way that, you know, he knows that they can understand. And I also remember in the conversation with his namesake, he also told him that he sounded like his son, Archie, saying that he had the same squeaky little voice and he said that he loved it. So I cannot wait to see the families and the children get a chance to sit down and have that one-on-one -on -one with the Duke of Sussex. As I said before, nominations uh, are open for those who can nominate inspirational children, young caregivers and professionals or parent carers. I will leave those links yet again. Check for it in the pinned comment. And some additional information, yet again, for those who can nominate, they say that on their website, there is no fee for making a Well Child Awards nomination. Nominations will only be accepted for nominees based in the United Kingdom and closing date for the nominations will be midnight on 20th March 2023. So those who nominate have to do that in that time period or else any nominations received after that time will not be submitted for judging. So that is the closing date for the entries for those in the UK who can nominate. And definitely this year's event will be just on another level. So uplifting for these families. So there was a statement from Matt James, the Well Child chief executive, who said, quote, There are more children and young people than ever before in the UK living with long term serious health needs. The pandemic placed these children and families under more pressure than many of us can comprehend. The Well Child Award 2023 will be a unique opportunity to recognize and highlight the immense challenges they continue to face and celebrate the remarkable positivity, resilience and spirit they have demonstrated. It will also help us to shine a light on the dedication of those around them, from siblings and professionals who have gone above and beyond to help them through such challenging times." End quote. So once again, there's that information. Now share your thoughts on this news in the comment section. By the way, it was so good to see uh, the Duke of Sussex. The video for sure is sunny. I love the location that he's chosen to give this video from. I absolutely love the ambience of the location that he's chosen to give this uh, message from. Surrounded by the greenery and uh, the flowers and it just looks so sunny and light and so uplifting. I think even to the young ones to know that he is already on this putting the spotlight on uh, Well Child Awards and getting people's eyes and ears on this year's event. Of course, to celebrate them who are absolutely exceptional and deserve it. He looks happy. He looks relaxed, I feel. And uh, in good spirits, I think, for all the, the news that has been in the press in these weeks, both, of course, the positive and the negative. He seems to have risen above it all. And he is focused on Well Child. So I am so happy for this news and I'm glad to bring it to you. And now I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also quite noteworthy as well that Well Child has chosen to disable their a comment section on this particular one. It's just so sad that an organization like this needs to do that. Um, I think people should just choose when to have these quote beefs. I think not under 
not not under this kind of post to the point that they have to disable just preemptively or whatever i think it's you know i think it's just so sad that they have to do that but i think it's encouraging to them to know that um all in all the message is going out um you know prince harry he is blessed in this way that we know when he has a project that people they care they care to tune in they care to know what it's about the press cover it even those who complain that they have to do so they know that they will get the clicks but all in all our joy is that well child is getting the spotlight and it is so deserved for the inspirational children and those who care for them so once again nominate at wellchild.org.uk forward slash awards that will of course be in my pinned comment all in all, great news. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Thank you to all who watched this video. Thank you to those who like, comment and share and a special shout out to those who support this channel financially. Truly, it is hand in hand with you all and I do appreciate the support that you give here. A special thank you to Lala. Thank you for your love and giving to this channel. It truly warms my heart. Thank you. Thank you to HRH Leo. Thank you so much for your love Thank you so much for your giving and generosity. Thank you, thank you from the depth of my heart. And a special thank you to Leola Brown. Thank you so much for your open heartedness and for choosing to come along with me on this YouTube journey and for your kind heart. Thank you. Thank you to Alima Zimmer as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your giving and for your support for my work here on YouTube. Truly, it means so much to me. Thank you. And thank you to Leslie Allerhead. Thank you, Leslie. You have been such a supporter when I look over how you have given to this channel. Words cannot express how much that has just touched my heart. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Thank you once again to all who support this channel financially, to those who give through Patreon, PayPal, as well as membership here on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you to those who like, comment and share. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let YouTube know you enjoyed what you watch. It truly does help out the content and I do appreciate that. Leave your thoughts on this below. I love you all and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.